In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make an animation of the Moon orbiting the Earth using Blender's NLA editor. And I'll show you how to set up the scene so that it can be previewed in a web browser. Press X to delete the cube. Add Mesh UV Sphere. Set Segments and Rings to 64 and set shading to smooth. Drag to make the timeline window bigger. Drag on the white diagonal lines to make a new window and change the new window into a UV image editor window. When making a UV spherical projection, the 3D view affects the projection, change the view from perspective to orthographic, change the view to the front view, go into edit mode, mesh, UV unwrap, sphere projection, click the open image button, go to the folder where you have your earth image file, select it and open, go back into object mode, Change the 3D view shading to Material. Click the Material button. Click the New Material button. I should give the new material a meaningful name. Click the Texture button. Click the New Texture button. I should give the new texture a meaningful name. We want Type Image or Movie. Click both. We want Mapping Coordinates UV. Click the Browse Image button and select the Earth image. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and click the Object Properties button. Give the sphere a more meaningful name and click the eye icon to hide it. Add Mesh UV Sphere. The ratio of the diameter of the Moon to the diameter of the Earth is 0.27. Press S to scale, 0.27 and enter. Change shading to smooth and give the sphere a meaningful name. The distance between the Earth and the Moon compared with their diameters is very large, so I'm not going to do it to scale. Set the X location to 2. Click the button to unlink the Earth image. Go into edit mode, mesh, UV unwrap, sphere projection. Click the Open Image button, go to the folder where you have the Moon image, select it and open. Go back into Object Mode, click the Material button, click the New Material button, click the Texture button, click the New Texture button, click both, click the Browse Image button and select the Moon image. Change the UV image editor window to a dope sheet window and change the mode to action editor. To animate the moon orbiting the earth, I'm going to add an empty object and I'm going to make the moon the child of the empty. Set the parent to the empty. Now when I rotate the empty, the moon will follow. To rotate the empty, I'm going to insert two keyframes. I'm going to use my rhyme for inserting keyframes. Go to frame, make change, insert keyframe. Go to frame, go to frame one, make change, set the Z rotation to zero, it is already zero. Insert keyframe, right click, insert single keyframe. To insert the second keyframe, go to frame 300. Make change, set the Z rotation to 360. Insert keyframe, right click, insert single keyframe and set the total length of the animation to 300 frames. By default, the moon will accelerate into the motion and decelerate at the end. In the key menu, set the interpolation mode to linear to make the moon travel at a constant speed. Give the animation action a more meaningful name, Moon Orbit, and change the window to an NLA editor window. At the moment, the animation is coming from the keyframes in the timeline window. 
When I click the push down button, the keyframes disappear. When I click play, the animation comes from the NLA editor. Over time, Earth's gravity has slightly distorted the shape of the moon and stopped it spinning about its own axis. To make the Earth spin about its axis, click the eye icon to unhide it, select it, and in the Add menu, include selected objects to include the Earth in the NLA editor. Under Earth, click No Action. In the Add menu, Add Tracks. In the Add menu, Add Action Strip, Blender displays a list of all actions. We only have one to choose from. Click Moon Orbit. Both strips are linked to the Moon Orbit action. I want to edit the action for the Earth, but not affect the empty. Select the Earth strip in the Edit menu, Make Single User. To edit the strip, in the Edit menu, Start Tweaking Strip Actions, Shortcut Key Tab. Now we can edit the animation in a Dope Sheet window. The first thing I'm going to do is give the copied action a more meaningful name, Earth Spin. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. Select the second keyframe and drag the keyframe to frame 20. Release and click. Change the window back to an NLA editor. Click the plus to display the strip properties. Here we can change the name of the strip. Scroll down and click sync length. Now the length of the strip will change when we toggle out of tweak mode. With a strip length of 20 frames, and a total animation length of 300 frames, we want the strip to be repeated 15 times. The first thing to note is that the strip length falls short of the 300 frames mark. Instead of being 20 frames times 15, it's 19 frames times 15 plus 1. Blender doesn't repeat both the starting keyframe and the end keyframe because if it did, the animation would freeze for one frame. And clicking play, the Earth spins too fast for comfortable viewing, so I'm going to slow it down so that it takes 100 frames for the Earth to revolve once. I'm going to press the Tab key to go into Tweak mode, change the window to a Dope Sheet window, drag the second keyframe to approximately frame 100 and click. Zooming in with the mouse wheel, I'm going to put the second keyframe at frame 101, which is 100 plus 1. Go back to the NLA editor, press Tab to toggle out of Tweak mode, and set Repeat to 3. That's the end of setting up the animation. Next, I'm going to set up the scene ready to export it in a web browser format. Change Blender Render to Blend for Web. Click the Render button and click Set Recommended Options. Drag to make the 3D view window bigger. In the View menu, Align View, Align Active Camera to View. Click on the border to select the camera. Press G for grab, Z for the Z axis, and Z for Z local, and drag with the mouse to move the camera back. Change the view to the top view. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. Select the lamp, click its object properties, right click on its location and reset all to default values, and move the lamp behind the camera and slightly off center. Click the World button, click Render Sky, click the Horizon Color, and set the color to black. Change the view to the camera view, and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Select the Earth, click the Material button. Remove the highlight by setting the Specular Intensity to zero. And do the same for the Moon. 
click the scene button click NLA and cyclic NLA for the animation in the NLA editor to be played automatically click fast preview that's the end of the tutorial I'll put the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website click the link or the eye icon if you'd like to subscribe click the link or the stick man if you'd like to sponsor my tutorials click the link thanks for watching and goodbye